Hey there creative ones, it's your girl Danny Royal and I am here with a video and I wanted to share with you all my, um, y'all, I'm so stuck on alignment, oh my gosh, with these videos and stuff like it be so irritating, but it's not going, I guess it's not going to be directly like aligned. <laughs> girl, get it together. Alright, look, so, yeah, okay. So yeah, so I was saying, hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's your girl Danny Ray from DannyRay.com and um, I am doing this video on a late night. I am kind of tired, but I said that I was going to do this video because um, I am, I'm not a new artist or a beginning artist per se, um, but sometimes like I am, I you as an artist, you get used to doing certain things. And so like as an artist, like I like paint on my floor and I paint on the table and I'm not really really comfortable not I'm not gonna say not comfortable but I'm not as acclimated to painting on canvas so it feels awkward um so I'm challenging myself this time in this season in this way um because I do have a desire to start using my canvas I want to start um adding some things to my patreon and I want you guys to be a part of it and also um um, with my Patreon, um, it's going to require me to stand up so that you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. So, um, yes, that's not what the video is about, but you know, nonetheless, the video is about, um, this new easel that I purchased. Um, and it's so crazy because like, it's so many easels. Whew, it's so many easels and, um, price wise, space wise you got to consider everything like for me i do my art outside of my home i am praying one day for an art gallery an artist law and it's gonna happen i cannot wait because when it happens i'm so i'm y'all 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 i'm gonna let y'all know but i'm so excited about you know just this journey on evolving as an artist so i am danny royal enterprise so Danny Royal is my brand, it's what I do, it's who I am. I am a creative in all facets of creativity. I am a content creator. Um, um, I am a small business consultant. And I also am a, you know, motivator, inspirer, encourager through kingdom, you know, and so that's what I do. But this particular, particular page is my art page and it allows me to be free to express my creative expression with the world. And I believe that when you have a gift, use it. You should use it, right? You should use it, right? So I am going to do better um, with, you know, posting my videos, doing short, short, short videos. And I had, a, I had to figure out balance. Balance from doing my things that I do on a regular, like, you know, my hairstyling or my business consulting, um, encouraging and stuff, motivating stuff. Those are little videos and stuff that I do. But like, I'm just talking about my breadwinning things. Like, and so I'm like, okay, when are you going to have time for art? And so I literally am just starting to fit it all into a routine. And so, um, I think this time y'all is going to, it's going to work out. It's going to do me some justice. You know, I don't know if I'm the only one as an artist who has had other things going on and also creating. Um, I've come so far as an artist. I have so much far farther to go, um, but I'm excited about the journey. So without further ado, I just wanted to present to you my baby. So this is, you know, my new... Y'all, I just gave y'all a whole spill. A whole spill. A whole spill. I did. Golly. So, yeah, this is my new baby. And so, this is my easel. Um, And, y'all, I was so excited when I got her. Like, I have not had an easel easel in, like, quite some time. I did have an easel before my first easel. One of my artist friends bought it for me. Shout out to him for just being a dope friend, you know, and creative just at large, you know. Um, but to purchase one on my own, this is my first one. I know that might seem so crazy, especially being in the world today. It's so many things accessible to us. This is my first easel. Like, that's not like tabletop, right? 
y'all. So this this easel was it hard, y'all? Putting it together, I was kind of stuck, and I know you probably shouldn't be stuck, but I was like, huh? Like what? I don't know if y'all are good at assembling things, but I was looking at the directions, and I was like. I was like, hold on, you know, I mean, it's like self-explanatory in a way. But it was like confusing to me a little bit. I ain't even gonna lie. I was just like, and then I seen like a little slits or whatever. And I was like, oh, because I'm like, you can't screw it in. Like, what do you do? So you unscrew it a little bit and then you kind of like slide the screw down the little the middle is like a little uh place where you can put the the um the the screw in. It's it's just it's so weird. It's so weird. But you know, this is actually the this is an artist loft um brand easel. And um, you know, this is this is if y'all can see, it has like um an adjustable palette holder support palette uh it, it this is adjustable legs these are the legs this is what it looks like um on here you guys if you can see um and it is a these are the parts it is a heavy duty so it's aluminum it's an aluminum um studio easel um and so it has heavy duty aluminum easel. It holds up to 64 and 64 inch or 162.5 centimeter canvas. Um, easily adjusts, tilts up to 30 degrees, folds easily, and it does fold easily. I can honestly admit that. I haven't tested it out when it comes down to folding it and stuff like that. I will, you know, get into that, and I'm excited to. Um, and then it also. Um, what else? Non-skid rubber feet, so it has, so it won't leave like scuff marks, marks or whatever in the in the floor. And you can just kind of like just take it up and pick it up and put it wherever you want to. No wheels or anything like that. Um, and then it has an adjustable pallet holder. So, y'all like, and this is what it's again. This is what it's given, like, and it's for. So it has this part right here. It, you can add this on so like you can even have it like this or you can add the piece on and so for me I added mine on just so I could see and I just wanted the fullness of my canvas and to be honest y'all I have never like never ever you know um I've never what I was gonna say y'all dang it's like hmm I forgot, but y'all, I'm excited. I'm excited about my canvas. I'm excited about using it. Um, the palette holders. Oh, y'all, so, so I can just put my palette out right here and adjust these little things down here. You can't see it, but it's like, it has like, um, I don't want it to hit the ceiling, but it has like a little, these parts, you hold it out and you screw it back when you want it to be tight. Right. And you sit the palette there. Oh God, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You know, so I'm excited, y'all. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm ready to create. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. So I've never had a um I do small canvas work generally. Um, but I'm trying to come outside of my comfort zone and I'm trying to stretch myself. So you guys, community, creative community, if you are an artist and you have any tips, if you have any tricks, if you want to share anything with me, maybe you want to know about my journey or anything like that, just let me know. Y'all, I am finding my way. And, you know, um, I, I, I don't do, I wouldn't necessarily say I have a medium. I just kind of just create as I as I feel so probably because I started off as a hot it started off as a hobby and it still was a hobby but I you know eventually started getting paid for some of my art but 
Like, I just do it when I'm able. Like, art has always been a sad thing to me. I think probably because I never thought that I could make money, big money off of it. But, you know, I'm shifting my mindset, y'all. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I'm ready just to create. Like, one of the things that I do know is, like, during the pandemic, you know, um, it was so much. It was so much on so many. And, you know, we were in the house and we were doing so all of these things and, you know, for me, I was still creating. <laughs> like, I was pregnant with my daughter, but I was like, big belly in it, like, hey, you know? And so I ended up painting my belly, and I just was like, okay, well, I'm going to do that, and we're going to have fun, and, you know? So, um, yeah, and that's what I did. So I stayed creating. I stayed, my mind was still going. I'm a content creator, you guys, like, at, at large. So, you guys, check me out. Stay tuned. Hardest Beauty 101 is your girl, Danny Rory from DannyRory.com. And I'm definitely going to come to you all with some more videos. I'm so excited about just creating with you all. And just, you know, just showing y'all my latest work. And showing y'all this journey. Whew. Because it's been a journey. Showing y'all this journey that it's been as an artist. So, you guys, I love you guys so much. Heart fam. And I will see you soon. Peace.